Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. And every day I wanted to say uh, today market behaved as I expected, but none of the days market is giving such an opportunity. And I thought yesterday's low will be held today. I told you the gap filling has happened and it should not break yesterday's low. But today, the global queues were very good and Nifty opened nearly 80, 90 point higher. And then the selling came, the selling was so intense before the policy and Nifty broke yesterday's low. Not only yesterday's low was broken, it fell another 40, 50 point. It fell very close to 16,300. Then came the policy and the policy was expected and most of the people said 50 basis point hike and I expected only 25 basis but it was 50 basis. In fact, when the rate increase is actually not bad for the banks. In fact, last time also when the RBA increased the rate by 40 basis point, actually the bank nifty went up. What happened after that? There are there was a CRR hike. CRR hike was the reason why the bank nifty fell later. CRR is the amount of money the banks have to pass it to the RBI for which RBI will pay no interest. So that was the negative. And today people were speculating there will be increase in CRR also but nothing of that sort has happened. So only the interest rate increase but there was no CRR hike. So because of that, the short covering rally came and Nifty shot up nearly 250 points from intraday low. And then came, as usual, any rise, FIAs use it to sell. And it was so much of selling by FIAs that brought uh, the Nifty more than 200 points down. So today, if you see, Nifty was up 100 point in the morning, then came down 200 point, then shot up 250 point, again came 200 point. It's just too volatile. And this thing is going to continue tomorrow also. That's because tomorrow is expiry. Anyway, expiry related issues will happen. And day after tomorrow, again, day after tomorrow evening, the US inflation data will come ahead of the inflation data traders may not like to carry positions and I am planning to close 90% of my positions uh, ahead of US inflation data if at all I want I can reinitiate the same trade on Monday uh, this inflation data will make or break the market and the Monday, I'm expecting a big gap up or big gap down. For the next two days, it's going to be highly volatile. At the end of the day, no wonder FIAs have once again sold heavily for more than 2,500 crores. Just in last four trading sessions alone, FIAs have sold nearly 11,000 crore. So this FIA selling is going to continue last time finance minister said uh, FIAs uh, may come and go but retail people will support the market and after that the FIAs have uh, started selling more and not even a single day they bought after finance minister statement only about one week before there was just one day they just bought only for 500 crore and once again, yesterday the finance minister said the same thing and FIAs may come and go, uh, retail people will absorb the shock. So finance minister is confident, uh, retail people are confident of taking the shock. So FIAs decided to continue to give shock. And today is the fourth straight session. So they have sold for more than 2500 crore. 
I do not know where this is going to lead. As I always say, at some point of time, a phase will have to stop or at some point of time, retail people will lose the confidence and they will stop buying. So, if which one comes first, accordingly the market will move. If FA stops selling, at some point of time they realize, you know, they miss the bus and then FOMO effect will kick in and then markets may shoot up. Or if FA is selling continues like this, at some point of time retail people lose the hope about the market and they stop supporting the market, market can go for free fall. So therefore, during the next few months and you know one of the things is going to happen markets are not going to trade sideways it's going to move either thousand thousand five hundred point up or thousand thousand five hundred point down now let us come back to today's trade uh, reliance was managed to today since morning even when nifty went up uh, the reliance was down it was only IT and bank supported and uh, earlier HDFC used to move 70 rupees 80 rupees every day to manage the market and now it is the turn of TCS every day TCS moves 50 60 70 rupees up and down and hugely volatile right now US futures are also weak and uh, anyway uh, just like our market, US markets last one hour we have to watch. And US markets anyway for the last two trading sessions it was higher. So today give up some of the gains is normal. But in our case, the last three trading sessions we were on the downside. That means Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday all three trading sessions we are down. And look at the open interest very very scary. And people started selling even 16,300 call option. And 16,400 call option has been sold aggressively. Then 450, 500, 550, 600, no, everything. That's a huge amount of call options. And tomorrow for one or the other reason, if there is a big gap up, then these people have to run for cover. But as of now, there are no such signs. And these people will sail through. And there was no much put selling and today it was all about call selling and put option you know only 16,200, 100 you know far away strike prices only. So overall the market setup now is very very bearish and 16,400 uh, you know uh, on a closing basis and uh, today is the first day nifty closed below 16,400 after May 30th. May 30th was the day it was because of gap up Nifty crossed 16,400 and after that today is the first day a Nifty closed below 16,400 that is a bearish sign and anyway markets you know in a high volatile market market goes up 200 point comes down 200 point you know so it's going to be difficult to take a view but I would advise you to reduce the positions, keep the positions very very light and uh, next two days also it's going to be like this only. Probably we may get some directional clue next week. So until then this FIAs will continue to sell and uh, if there is any positive news from US inflation front, probably FIAs may change their mind. But until now, they are not going to, until then, FAs are not going to change their mind and they are going to continue to sell. So, I am on my way to uh, one of my friend's marriage function. So, that's why I am just recording only the audio, no video. And we will try our best to come out with the video tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed watching this podcast. Thank you for listening. Bye.